Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 118. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. I am the one, but the kid is not my son. <laughs> Honestly, Michael Jackson's songs are like fucking classics. Absolute classics. Bum, 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 I forgot how to type. My thingy no work. Me not know how to type. I can't type. Oh yeah, so I had a look, um, a <laughs> POV, you forgot. <laughs> Um, yeah, I was having a look at a review on the new Logitech Pro Wheel, the Direct Drive one, and um, the one thing that I find crazy about it is how um, how they've actually made the wheels. Right, and the connections, they don't use, like, serial connections between the pedals and the, um, hub anymore, like, uh, the old wheel did. Which, actually, I think if they did that for this new wheel, I don't think people would have much of a complaint. The problem I have with this new Logitech wheel is the fact that they're USB, micro-USB. So you plug in a micro-USB cable into the end where the pedals are and then plug that into a USB which for anyone who knows micro USB was an absolute ball ache for Android because the fact micro USB was one of the worst connectors ever and granted we've got USB type C now which is an unbelievably good connector it's reversible it's durable and it's bandwidth is amazing so for what is a $1,000 wheelbase they use micro usb to connect it to a computer like that that just fucking blows my mind yeah micro usb is the one for ps4 controllers older android phones a lot of new ones are moving to type c same with the ps5 is now type c xbox even old xbox controllers Wonder why they did not use USB C. I have no clue. Because to be honest, for them to put in micro USB wouldn't cost them any more to put in Type C. Like, both of the connections would cost them pretty much a similar amount of money to implement. So I don't know why they've done what they did. Oh, by the way, chat, I don't know if anyone's noticed. I'm going to try and find it. Ooh. I'm going to try and load this song and play it on stream. This is Nero. Oh, crap. Let's do this again. Nero have released a new song. Who? Why doesn't... Do you mean who doesn't everything? Do you mean why? I assume you're meaning why. As for why everything doesn't use USB-C, no reason to. Um, yeah, that makes more sense. There is no reason for devices to use anything other than USB Type-C. Because Type-C is a fairly widespread connection. Um, I think everything should have Type-C just on both ends of a cable. As much as I would find it annoying... 
having to move over from like a USB A to USB Type C connection. We should be doing that. It should be Type C to Type C. Everything is just Type C, and connect via Type C. USB drive should be Type C. Um, controllers Type C. Every device should run USB Type C to Type C. Because if everything is like that, then every single cable could be universal. You think power supplies, the connectors that go f out of power supplies, are all universal for every graphics card? Why the fuck is it so much of a problem when it comes to actual consumers to make it that way? Like, there are standards that make it so that if I plug a graphics card into my PC, they're all the same. It's that Fortnite Chapter 4 event tomorrow night. Could not care less. Fortnite should have died out years ago. I really hope once Fortnite actually, like, runs out of storyline for their game, that the game literally just shuts down. Like, I hope Epic Games just, just says, eh, Fortnite's done now. Gets rid of it. Like, get rid of Fortnite, move on to something else. Make some other fads so that games can actually become better again. You know. I really have a hatred for Fortnite. <laughs> the Fishman race should have died out years ago, let's be honest. I mean, who has a, a fish in their surname? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> you asked for it. You asked for it. <laughs> but yeah, this is the new Nero song. Came out this morning. I'll be 100% honest. I really like it. But this... The only thing is, it's with Nero. Not completely by Nero. Satisfy is not the only good song from Nero. <laughs> you just haven't listened to Nero's songs. <laughs> like, Satisfy is... It's a good one. Don't get me wrong, it's one of their top tier songs. But like, there are songs that are so much better. Two Minds is a better song. I think Two Minds is one of their best, but... I told you too many times. Boom, 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 boom. Like, Two Minds is a good one. Um, what else is good? Reaching Out. Reaching Out is such a chill one, though. So good. Um, Guilt, Promises. Promises was a very good one. Yeah. Yeah, I literally said that at the exact same time, Wolfie. Um. It might be Guilt. Zeno. Guilt could be the one, because it's... It's a really common one from Nero. But... <laughs> None of your business, bruv. <laughs> Kodo, you had some weird-ass rewind, to be honest. Like, your Spotify rewind was just some of the strangest... Like, it was some weird, obscure artist. <laughs> Yes, cheers for repeating exactly what I just said, Kodo. <laughs> Obscure artist. <laughs> Is 
here. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. Top five artists were Eminem, Logic, NF, 50 Cent, and by some voodoo magic, instead of Daft Punk, The Prodigy, or Pendulum, the fifth was KSI. <laughs> oh my god. To be fair, KSI has some good songs, but... It, it's literally like one or two songs. Hilltop Hoods, that's it. That's, the, that's a weird, obscure one. Like, MGMT, there's some good good individual songs from them. I wouldn't listen to them as a band, but that makes sense. Bon Jovi, fair enough. Foster the People, fair enough. Eminem, fair enough. But Hilltop Hoods. Oh, what even the fuck is that? Like, that sounds like something you would get in, in like, country music, redneck fucking American music. Like, Hilltop Hood. <laughs> That's the kind of... Not Over Yet is amazing, but I think it's because it's drum and bass that I think it's just so fucking great. <laughs> Pendulum songs are fucking A tier, though, so... I, do you know what, Zeno? I found an album I think you might like. Um, because it's got very similar music style to, uh, like, songs that were featured on uh, Motorstorm. Specifically, like, Pacific Rift. Um, I, will, I will find the name of the album. But... Like, the entire out I've added it to my stream playlist, so... Um... At some point, I'll play it on stream, but... Because I, I basically update my stream playlist every month, like, from stuff that I found. Because I, d I don't keep adding it, because it never turns up. Nosebleed section. Sure. If I listen to this and it's shit, though... Right... I don't know. I'm not making a deal. If I enjoy it, it will go straight on the stream playlist. But I doubt I will, because a band called Hilltop Hoods. No. <laughs> really, really fucking put some doubt into my ass. The entire album just reeks of Motorstorm. Like, it's got that, like, Kind of like upbeat vibe to it. It just, yeah. Such an awesome, awesome album. Beep beep, bitch. That's pretty cool, Zeno, actually. Might have to invite me to that server. Do you see what I mean, though? Whole community dedicated to all types of photography and we just nerd the fuck out about stuff. That's fair enough. That's pretty cool. We've actually got a um, photography server of our own. Uh, it's called AGC. Which... Have I already invited you to AGC? Zeno, I don't know if I have. But AGC's got quite a strong photography background to it. So sort of the main focus of the server. But yeah, this shit this shit's really good. Really um really fucking thingy. I'll send you an invite link after the stream then, Zena. 
Pretty sick server. All of them are, they're not all similar, like, they all sound different, but they have a similar style. They've got this, like, really good beat and stuff like that. <laughs> Fair enough. I am the goat. As <laughs> 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 50 to 75? I don't know the exact number, but that's about how many there are. It's not a huge server because I haven't really been focusing on it too much, but... I think we're going to um, set up where we have like specific content creators that sort of promote the community more. But I've got to speak to a couple of streamers that are in there, see what they say. Yeah, pretty chill. Um, mostly just talk about, like, car stuff, but there is, like, a photography forum. So, where you can literally just post your photos, and here's some photos. Chat about them, kind of like. So. Oh no! Alright, two more laps to go. Uh, sorry, three. Fuck, it's five laps. That sucks, dick. So as you can hear, like, this one has a different vibe. Well, it's, it's a similar vibe, but it sounds completely different. Really good, really good music. Oblivion. I'm fucking starving. It was used on an advert from the 2000 for LV car insurance. What? Dum diddy dum diddy dree dree da di da da dum diddy dum diddy dree dree. Oh, that's brilliant. Are there any new major racing games coming out next year? Um, Forza Motorsport 8 
is going to be coming out next year. That song is a Hilltop Hood song. Well, that's a reason why it was used for an advert, because it's terrible and cringe. <laughs> uh, that song's still used today, by the way. You know that, right? It's not an advert from the 2000s. It's still used today. Um... I made Discord fucking crash. Nice one. Yeah, the next Falls of Motorsports should be coming out next year. Um, it's scheduled to come out before June. Because they announced in their last event that... Like, their last showcase that every single game that they were going to show off is coming out within a year. That showcase was obviously this June. So... Based off that logic, Falls should be coming out next year but in that showcase they had a clause that said like right at the end that these games may be subject to delays so more than likely they just wanted to show it off to get a little more hype around the game um but we probably won't hear anything about the next Forza until it will probably come out in November next year more than likely uh I'll check discord in a minute Zeno If it does actually come out early next year, I'll be very surprised. Uh, and knowing me, I'm a sucker, I will end up buying it straight away. Because <laughs> it's Forza. I just really hope that Forza actually is like, you know, like Forza. Nick is a spoon. How am I a spoon? Oh, that's pretty cool. Did you put it in your photo dump? Fair enough, fair enough. The only thing I will say, Zeno, if you're posting photos in AGC, I'll send you the link after this race. Um, when you're using the forums, it is like one game and one group of photos per post. So like, if you've got like 20 Gran Turismo photos, you can put that in one post, but you can't put like 10 Gran Turismo photos and 10 um, a set of Corsa photos all in one post, because they got to be like separate posts for separate groups. Just so it keeps it separate and so that you can find, like, fresher content and stuff like that. It's, it makes sense when you actually look at how the forum's structured in the server. But yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> Fuck. I don't know. I'll find something. Or try to, anyways. I might just gift you another game on Steam. Who knows? I'll see what I can do, though. <laughs> Born of sex sims. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if that's what you want, <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> I'll get you a 10 hour of the porno sex sims. You bought AC Unity, nice. Nice one. How much was it on um, Enaba, by the way? Did you say it was like 50 pence? Oh, 127. Okay, fair enough. Did you use my link? <laughs> Doki Doki. I had discount code. Yeah, that's not bad. 
There's actually a uh, discount code at the moment for Eniba. If you use uh, PayPal 5, um, you'll actually get a 5% um, discount if you use the PayPal payment method. And if you use PayPal, if you've never used Eniba before and you buy something off of Eniba using the PayPal payment method, well, you can actually get... 25% cash back in your Enable wallet. I know. It's fucking sick. <laughs> Free money. There are terms and conditions, though. You'll have to look at the website. I don't know them off by heart. <laughs> but yeah. It's pretty good. That's my affiliation. <laughs> I think it's for first time buyers though, first time people, so I don't think it's for everyone. So if you've already used Enema before, I don't think you can get it. This is very like, it's almost a little bit pendulum vibey as well. Cause you know how pendulum had like knife party, pendulum, they made different sort of sounding songs, but they were still pretty good. Like this has that same vibe. They're all completely different sounding. Almost like different genres, but still every single one of them slaps. This sounds very much like a knife party song though. Basically KSI, but good. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, poor KSI. KSI's fucking funny as fuck, though. I think he's better as, like, a member of the Sidemen than, um, an actual artist. I mean, I suppose the New Year's a good point to sort of, like, refresh, like... I'm sort of aiming to try and finish this game before Christmas, but I know it's not going to happen, so. I can't believe KSI was my number five. Should have been the Prodigy. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Yeah, for this, I think I've got another 60 plus episodes to record, so. We're going to be getting close to about 200 videos, uh, which has me really concerned for Motorsport 4. Because that means that that's going to be even longer. But I may, over the Christmas period, like, sort of 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, and 27th. So those five days, I might do double uploads. Just so I can put a couple of extra videos out there. Um, and make it so it's, you know, the actual series ends a little bit quicker. I mean, if I didn't do a double upload while I was on holiday, um, we would still be on episode... Well, what's just come out? 102 has just come out, so we'd be on episode... 90. 88. If I didn't do double uploads during holiday, so... We'd be on episode 88 by now. On YouTube. We'd still be recording this, so... But yeah, the, the, this series is going to take a little longer than I expected. Hydo only does that if you have the higher up plan. So if you've got the more... Uh, what's it called? <coughs> Hi-Fi Plus. They don't do that for the other one. But they still shuffle it around. But they take 10% out of the title plus subscriptions and give them to the most listened artists straight away. So. But yeah, I mean, Imagine Dragons is a pretty decent band. Ah, fair enough. It's quite a lot, though, for the top one. 
I didn't even get the top one because I don't think it's worth actually the the twenty quid. Because all all the Dolby, here's a fun fact: Dolby Atmos songs on mobile, you can only listen to the Atmos songs on mobile. If you're on um, PC, you're listening to a stereo version of it, no matter what. However, because of how Atmos works. It still modifies the stereo sound inversion. It just doesn't put. So, a very cheap way of actually getting Atmos to work on Tidal is to just listen to it in stereo and then enable Atmos on Samsung and it's pretty much 95% there. Send the link in the chat. Oh, it should have worked. I can't do it yet. Have a look at the thingy. If you've used the link recently anyways, it should automatically be working for the next 30 days. So, Strange. Have you tried right clicking and clicking copy link? Strange. All right, if you wait a uh, a bit, and I'll I'll do it for you. <laughs> buzz, buzz. Reddit. Line Tomb Raider Xbox One. Hey, nice one. <laughs> Makes a skill issue. Nice. <laughs> By the way, chat, feel free to uh, share the stream out if you are enjoying it. <laughs> oh. Push it to the FBI. <laughs> oh. What do you mean it boring? It not boring. You're the boring one. <laughs> Bring a conversation point to the table. Then it'd be a lot more exciting, you know. Like I say it multiple times, like, streams are only as exciting as what the community can actually provide to it. Uh, no, I didn't. I completely forgot about it. But I've got a couple of things i got to do after this race anyway, so I'll do it then. <laughs> 40 messages. Fuck me. I think it'd be better off if I check it after stream then, if there's that many. But yeah, like, streams are only as good as what the community actually can offer as well. Like, you look at content creators like Jacksepticeye when they do, like, Reddit stuff. The only reason they can do Reddit videos is because of their community. You think? The community's got to put some form of effort in to make it grow. It's not just all on the content creator. That's what a lot of viewers expect is, oh, the content creator should be doing all the work. They, they should be doing a majority of the work, sure. But the community has to do some work as well. That's just how how it works.
Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. I'll check them out after stream, because I really, really don't think I can look at 40 plus images. I mean, you're not wrong. You are not wrong, Zeno. But then, viewers will always say like, Oh, he's just being greedy. Oh, Jesus. Zeno, you're gonna kill me, man. It's the way, it's the way that you want it. I'm still disappointed that they don't have the full version of this track. The one that, um... Gran Turismo... Uh, not Gran Turismo. The uh, Falls of Motorsport 1 used. Sixty-three pictures and one duplicate. You must delete the duplicate. <laughs> <laughs> Mech talk about Putin. I'll, I'll be totally honest. No. <laughs> That's not an interesting topic. Or an entertaining topic. It's just me talking about how Putin's a dick. He's a twat. He should go fuck himself. Duh. <laughs> like, that's the only conversation point. You can make out of that. Bump, bump. Bump, bump. Uh, it's all your fault, Zeno. It's all your fault. It's the end of the world as we know it. Right, so we've got three more races to do. Um, it's going to be part of the S S class tour. Uh, and then next stream, we're only doing three episodes recorded. So we'll end up with 10 episodes recorded for the week. Which means I got to edit 10 episodes on Sunday. Fucking hell, Sunday's gonna be crazy. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.